we're going to look at interpreting slope. So we're going to look at two graphs as of right now. We have Todd's account. We can see number of years versus the amount in dollars in that account that Todd has. And then we have oil in an oil tank. And we're going to be looking at both of these situations and interpreting the slope for each one. So first things first, we need to first find what the slope is for each one. So we're going to do that here with this one. It looks like this goes from this point to this point where it crosses nicely on the x and y um, coordinate plane. So it goes up, it looks like $100 over 10 years in time. So if we were to look at that, 100, so the rise of 100, dollars over 10 years simplifies to $10 per year. It's important that we pay attention to the scale and the labels that are here. The scale for this is going up by hundreds, the scale for this is going up by ones, so $10 per year. This next one, oil in an oil tank. We have um, another situation where it's not quite going, or it doesn't have a, um, it's not starting at zero, zero. Here's one nice point, and here's another po nice point, and there's other nice points as we go along the way, technically, that we can all look at. So let's actually, I'm going to look at these nice points that are along here, and I'm just going to pick this first one my rise it looks like this is the amount of oil in gallons so i'm going to assume because it's not here it's not written down that this um each one of these lines is one gallon two gallons so that means we're going to go up by two gallons and we are running five minutes so that means my rise over run in this case is two gallons per five minutes, and I'm running out of space, five minutes. That means we can look at this and we can say we have two-fifths gallons per minute is our slope. But this, this context here, and this context here of the years, dollars per in dollars per year and gallons per minute is the interpretation of the slope that we need to be able to be comfortable comfortable with and aware of when we're looking at slopes and understanding what that slope means. It always means something y versus whatever the run is, the rise over the one run, the x over or the y over the x, whatever the context of those axes mean. Um, we have one more, or we have another video in this lesson to check out, and then you'll be able to do some practice problems. Thanks for watching.